say your name and then tell me what you're passionate about, okay? I'm Yvonne and I'm passionate about my boys. I'm Erendira and I'm passionate about food. I'm Tara and I am passionate about family. I'm Diego and I'm passionate about writing. I'm Xavier and I'm passionate about sports. I'm Maya and I'm passionate about my friends. I'm Paul and I'm passionate about video games. Whenever I grow up, I want to be a dentist or an orthodontist. I've just always been interested in the human mouth and the teeth and becoming a dentist. Definitely, um, the most fun is getting to meet new people that enjoy the same things that I do, but also the activities we do are very fun. The dissection, um, very interesting. I enjoyed it a lot. And the, what was it called? Suture? I don't know what it was called, but we like stitched the skin, to the skin together. Uh, that was very interesting as well. I really wanted to be a part of the Junior Medical School summer camp. I was excited about it ever since I heard back from Dr. Cunningham. I was really excited to get to work with kids that are about to go into high school, which was such an important part of just um, preparation for college and medical school and whatever comes after medical school. And so I have enjoyed my time here so much, so much more than I thought I would. Being a counselor for this amazing program of junior medical school has been honestly one of the most exciting experiences of my college career so far. Um, I think it has been an incredible opportunity to kind of show kind of younger kids, I mean these kids are 13 years old, just about to go into eighth grade, they haven't even finished middle school yet, and they're already knowing or have an idea of what they want to do with their lives and they want to help people and they already know kind of how they want to go about doing that. What I want to do when I grow up, uh, I would like to become a chemist because I always liked um, just mixing chemical compounds together. I've learned so many things about the medical field, not only in one week, but at such a young age. I've gotten to experience hands-on activities that workers in the medical field do every day. There were so many speakers who were and still passionate 
and I love that about each of the speakers. I feel that without a passion, there is no purpose. Walking in the classroom, I thought I was going to be doing work for a week, sitting down. Not knowing that after lunch, sadly, I was going to walk into a classroom smelling terribly, dissecting a pig eye in half. I met a nice gentleman named Dr. Crawford I, that I met, and I quoted him. Leadership was not easy for me, but I know that I pushed through and I worked hard. If it wasn't for this program, I would have never gotten the opportunity to hold an actual heart and lung in my hands. Who else can get an opportunity like this to go inside an anatomy lab and get to experience these amazing things and have an actual doctor consult facts about these or organs that you may have not known? If it wasn't for this program, I may have never considered being a surgeon. Before, I always felt nauseous and queasy about surgery, but now I feel like a surgeon's job is very interesting and very cool. I will definitely consider it for a possible career for my future. See ya!